All right, so here's the heavyweight hopeful Curtis Razor Blades. He's done a whole lot of winning in the UFC. It seems like most of the guys he tries to take down, he is able to do so. What have you seen from Curtis Blades thus far in the octagon? Curtis Blades has only been beaten by Francis Ngannou in his UFC career. So when you set him against anyone else, he's the guy that is more likely to get his hand raised. It's the wrestling ability. It's the cardio. And it's the underrated striking of Curtis Blades that makes him one of the best heavyweights in the entire world. Won a JUCO National Championship as a wrestler at Harper College. That came after he earned a full ride to Northern Illinois University. Looking to put his best foot forward here tonight and potentially earn his first UFC championship opportunity. DMX backdrop, enter Iron Mike Tyson. You know he's had a huge embrace for mixed martial arts. I didn't think we'd see him compete in this setting. Hope he's gonna work on his takedown defense. Yeah, he's gonna need it. Iron Mike's gonna need to be able to stay upright if he wants to give himself a chance. But if he's on his feet every second of the fight, Mike Tyson has the ability to knock you out. Imagine a guy that can put you out with 10-ounce gloves, landing with four-ounce gloves in the UFC octagon. Mike is fast, Mike has great setups, and Mike has a meanness about him that not many others have. You better be careful fighting Iron Mike Tyson. He is ferocious, and seemingly the speed and power are still there at his advanced age. Mike Tyson trying to make headway here in the UFC tonight. Mike Tyson has stepped inside the octagon. Tyson looks ready to fight tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. referee for this one. So with Curtis Blades, he has been quick on pursuit of the takedown and pass UFC. And now he's Slips that left hand. And there it is, too easy, too predictable. Curtis Blades getting a takedown. He has more of those than any heavyweight UFC has. He is the most heavyweight willing wrestler there is in the UFC. He's huge, he goes forward, he presses, and the guy has a junior college national championship, and he is not afraid to use it when he goes into the octagon. Blades making these ground strikes count. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Oh, right, it's a mount. Oh, you gotta be careful there, yep. Oh, big elbow. He's gotta be careful here. Blades is right back to the full mount. Up, up. 
Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Oh, big shots from the top. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loved. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. the underhook. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Gets tagged again on the inside. He did a great job of blocking that punch. Tyson, lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Takedown defense is there. And they separate. Just misses with that one. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh, nice right hand. Nice take down. Nice transition. Right, let's we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Lance is in half guard now. Under two minutes now to go in round one. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Lands with the ground and pound. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Now Blades is much safer position there being inside control. Good strikes. is right back to the full mount here. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You, know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change him and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Now. Effective use of the jab there by Blades. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Well, you gotta think frustration is starting to set in on the other side as he lands another takedown, and he knew he was gonna get a lot of this offensive wrestling as yet he's been unable to stop. He has not been able to stop him, and it's a different wrestling. It's a Damian Maya type of wrestling where they get close to you. They hook their feet, they drag you to the mat knowing that once you're on the ground, now you're really in trouble because the takedown is only a part of the danger. The true danger is grappling with such a great submission special. Yeah, nothing fun about it. Oh, that's over here, right? Now standing back and forth first round. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. for him to set up that hook again now. Very 
nice leg kick there by Blades. Straight's looking good. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Come on, Ed. Russell, we predicted he'd go back to that hook, and he did. This time, the opponent was ready. Pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think? Oh, no! And this is why you pay to be in the building. Back and forth. You go. Landed on both sides here. Oh, huge left. Nice. Great shot. Great shot. Keeps the pressure. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take it on very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is coming. <laughs> Absolutely crazy knockout here, and that's going to be a hard knockout from which to recover for his opponent. But the celebration is on one of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 23 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So, big UFC win for Iron Mike Tyson here tonight. Words you probably thought you'd never hear, but since cross.